This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And I hope you're all rejoicing this morning. Yesterday, I told you a little bit about my journey from a feeling of defeat to the passion of victory. Today, I want you to consider the question, wilt thou be whole? Now, let's take a little journey here. I'm taking you to the city of Jerusalem, the city on a hill in the time of Jesus. And there is that beautiful temple. Now let's move a little bit. And beyond the temple, not too far away, is the sheep's gate. <laughs> <laughs> then a little bit beyond that is the five colonnades. Now, the uh, Aramaic, word for those colonnades is Bethesda. Now let's take a little bit more of our journey and beyond the colonnades is a pool. Now, the legend is that an angel will come to the pool and stir the waters. And those who are fortunate enough to get into the pool are cured. Now, let's imagine too that there are crowds around the pool waiting their turn. But these are the sick, and the blind, and the deaf, and the crippled. They're not allowed in the temple, but they are waiting at the pool for that water to stir. Now, let's take, zoom in a little bit more, and we're going to zoom on a man who's been crippled for 39 years. Can you imagine? And he's come to the pool so frequently, and when the water stir, all the healthy and younger people rush past him. And by the time he gets to the pool, it's too late. The waters have calmed, and he's missed his window of opportunity. But then, Jesus comes, and Jesus stands beside him, and he says, wilt thou be whole? Strange question. And I can see the man looking up to Jesus and going, Duh! <laughs> what a stupid question! But he says, well, yes, Lord, I, I, I want to be healed, but I have no help. I'm all alone in this world, and when those waters stir, I'm crawling, but I'm always too late. And then Jesus says one more thing that's amazing. And he says, pick up your mat and walk. Yes. Yes. I don't know what you came here today with. I do not know your burden. I do, do, do not know what those things in your life that make you feel defeated, unloved, broken, not able to go to the waters. I don't know what makes you feel you need to crawl through life. But Jesus knows. Amen. And he's asking you, that same question that he asked the man on the mat. Wilt thou be whole? Now you might think that's a strange question, but there are people who would rather stay in their dark places. I know I was one. Because you know the saying, better the devil you know than the devil you don't know. But Jesus wants more for you. And he's holding out his hand. And he's saying, will thou be whole? And you say, yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. And he says, take my yoke upon you, for my burden is light. Mm -hmm. And I will stir the waters of your soul, mm -hmm. and you will find rest. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sister, listen to him. Take his hand. Yes. Take that journey from defeat to victory. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes.